In the prior lecture, we described the method of the principle of mathematical induction as a method of proof mathematicians use to prove mathematical propositions that are valid for all natural numbers. The principle of mathematical induction, as stated, is executed in just two steps, the basis step and the inductive step, and it allows us to arrive to the conclusion that the property is valid for all natural numbers. In more detail, if p sub k is some proposition, we need to prove where k is natural, we first prove the basis step that p sub 1 is true, and then we prove the inductive step. Assume that p sub k is true for some arbitrary k, derive from here that p sub k plus 1 is also true, and therefore p sub k is valid for all k natural. In our prior example of the infinite line of dominoes, we can guarantee that all the dominoes in the line will fall if we know that any time we push a domino, the next one up the line will also fall. So to make them all fall, what we need to do is to push the first one in the line. But, if we are not careful placing the dominoes in the line so that pushing one sometimes does not guarantee that the next one will fall, then not all the dominoes in the line will fall when we push the first one. As you may have already imagined, we can always start from a place in the line of dominoes where there is no gap in the line. And when we push the first domino, then all the others will fall as before. It also happens that sometimes we find cases where the proposition in question is not valid for all natural numbers. To solve this problem, we should be able to reformulate the principle of mathematical induction so that we are able to start from an arbitrary natural. Let us call it A. If P sub k is some proposition depending on k, we need to prove for all k greater than or equal to a natural. We first prove the basis step that P sub a is true, and then we prove the inductive step. Assume that P sub k is true for some arbitrary k natural, derive from here that P sub k plus 1 is also true. Then P sub k is valid for all k greater than or equal to a natural. Formulating the principle this way will allow to solve those cases where a property may not be valid for all natural numbers. As an example of such properties, we have the following. 3 to the power n greater than 3 times n plus 1 for all n natural with n greater than 1. We can see that this inequality is not valid for n equal 1. Replacing n equal 1, we get 3 to the power 1 greater than 3 times 1 plus 1, and therefore 3 greater than 4, and this last inequality is false. We can try more values of n, like n equal 2, and we get 3 squared greater than 3 times 2 plus 1, and this is equivalent to 9 greater than 7, and in this case the inequality is true. And we can see already that 3 to the power n grows faster than 3 times n plus 1, so we are suspecting the inequality is valid for all n natural, with n greater than 1. To prove this, we use the generalized principle of mathematical induction. We have already proved 
the basis step for n equal to since 3 squared is greater than 3 times 2 plus 1 and that is equivalent to 9 greater than 7 and this is true and we need to prove next the inductive step that is if 3 to the power k is greater than 3 times k plus 1 is valid then 3 to the power k plus 1 is greater than 3 times k plus 1 plus 1 is also valid so assuming that 3 to the power k is greater than 3 times k plus 1 is valid multiplying both sides by 3 we get 3 to the power k times 3 greater than 3 times 3 times k plus 3 and this is equivalent to 3 to the power k plus 1 greater than 9 times k plus 3 but if we prove that 9 times k plus 3 greater than 3 times k plus 1 plus 1 we have then proved that 3 to the power k plus 1 greater than 3 times k plus 1 plus 1 this 9 times k plus 3 greater than 3 times k plus 1 plus 1 is equivalent to 9 times k plus 3 greater than 3 times k plus 4 and that is equivalent to 6 times k greater than 1 and this last inequality is valid for any k natural therefore we have proof that the inequality is valid for n natural greater than 1 as is very typical in mathematics to reduce an unknown problem to a known one we could have also proved this inequality still using the principle of mathematical induction can you see how we can transform the inequality 3 to the power n greater than 3 times n plus 1 for n natural n greater than 1 replacing n with n plus 1 deriving the equivalent inequality 3 to the power n plus 1 greater than 3 times n plus 4 valid for all n natural the principle of mathematical induction is very surprising as it let us prove some mathematical propositions for an infinite number of natural numbers the surprise comes from the fact that we only need to prove the validity of the property only for two cases one is the induction basis that is to prove the property is valid for some initial case and secondly the inductive step where we assume the property is valid for some k and then prove that it is also valid for k plus one therefore the principle of mathematical induction allows to reduce a proof with an infinite number of cases to a finite number